This video is sponsored by Cricut. Don't mind me, we're just crocheting, hanging out. Let's switch up to something a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> Over the last few weeks, I've spent a ton of time doing admin work on the computer, writing patterns, and I felt like I really needed to take some personal me time to keep my hands moving, keep my creativity juices flowing. So for today's video, we're just gonna be doing every single craft that I can think of doing in about a week's time. I just have this like super urge, super intense urge to create and get colorful. So on the checklist of things that I wanna get done this week, crocheting, writing new patterns of course for the crocheting. I also plan on doing a little bit of hand crafting to make some exclusive limited edition merch. The fourth major thing on the list is to dye up some more really fun, funky colors. With fall coming up, I wanna have the fall colors, the warm palettes. We have our hands full as expected, as planned, pretty much as I have envisioned this whole video to go. So we're gonna start off by continuing with an oldie but a goodie. Now you guys have seen me make this pattern, a previous tutorial pattern on my channel, but since I'm trying to like write actual patterns, PDFs that you guys can download, I needed to remake. Here's what we've got going on so far. Crazy, very, very different palette than what I'm used to. I mean, just, just check out these colors. And then I started to get a little bit, a little bit too rainbow here at the bottom, but we're just gonna proceed. I'm gonna get as much done today as I can, and then we're gonna come back tomorrow, tap back in, and reassess how the pattern is going. All right, y'all, you're not ready for this update. We made a little bit more progress on the raglan sweater. Look at this, it's like rainbow pastel delight. I kind of want to throw it on, just see what it looks like over today's outfit. And for the reveal, I don't know the sound that just came out of my body, but look at how cute. Look at this, I'm geeking out. I would love, honestly, to keep it at this length, but this is the progress, this is what we got so far. I'm gonna have to keep crocheting, and then we'll check right back in. <laughs> Say hi, Mr. Mo. Hey, baby boy. <laughs> Mowgli said he wanted to come in for this portion of the video. Say hi. Oh my <laughs> God. As you can see, we're wearing the crafter sweater today because we're about to do some DIY crafts here at home with the help of today's sponsor, Cricut. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some really fun at home DIY projects that you guys can implement if you guys wanna make Christmas gifts early. I know it's September, but we can always get a run on it quick and easy. So the two different projects that I'm planning on making today, first off, I picked up a tote bag. Now, it's not your everyday tote bag. She's actually, she's a sling so we can keep our hands free. So we'll be using the Easy Heat Press to press on some vinyl. And then for our second project, I thought it'd be really fun to place some sticker decals onto a very gorgeous glass iced coffee cup. As we all know, coffee is a staple here on the channel. So let's go ahead and dive into the projects. I'm gonna open up the Cricut program and show you guys how I'm gonna make these decals. So with the Cricut design space, there's two ways that you guys can make projects. The first way is that you can upload your own preloaded image illustration design. Or the second way is that you can browse through Cricut's entire library of fonts, designs, and I think that's what I wanna do for the first tote bag. I've already gone ahead and bookmarked a few different designs I was interested in using, but I'm kind of sold on the few that I have down here. So this first one says, I'm hooked on crochet. We gotta keep it crochet themed. We also have handmade with love. I'm kind of leaning a little bit more towards this one. So let's go ahead and click on this and add it to our canvas. 
I can very easily just kind of click, drag, and drop wherever I want this to be cut out on the mat. Pick and drop the sizing right there. Or I can come up here and like manually type in. So let's go ahead and set this to seven inches wide. It automatically reassigns everything. And now that we're getting ready to cut, I can just whoop, bring it up here to the top left corner. And let's go ahead and get ready to cut this image out. Now comes the fun part. We get to kind of pick out which smart iron-on vinyl I want to use. And I'm kind of torn between a solid standard black. This always looks good on whatever you're going to make. But Cricut also sent over, we got a holographic vinyl. And y'all know me, we need the color, we need the pizzazz. So I think I'm going to do one in one, test them both out and show you guys how they're going to apply. Y'all look at this material. This is crazy. Crazy. All right, I've got the image mirrored, shiny side down, and with the Cricut Explore 3, I don't have to use a mat at all. I literally can just push it in there, hit the magic button. Look at that, no mat, no mat action. Let's go ahead and cut her out. And now using the Cricut Heat Press app, I'm just gonna hit start a new project, select my transfer material. And at this point, the app is gonna tell me exactly the temperature and how long I need to press it for. Whoa, look at the back. I'm dead, that's cute. Now that we officially have the very first holographic tote bag done, I'm gonna remake this entire process using the black iron-on, and then we'll be back to show you guys the finished tote bags. Now it's time to progress to the coffee cup. So for this next design, I wanna add on my own text and like my own cute little phrasing. Coffee, crochet, can I type? Repeat. And I feel like this is gonna look really cute, but I kinda wanna change up the font, find something a little bit more unique. So I think I'm gonna decide on this font, really cute, it's got little hearts, kind of bubbly, and then now I need to go back and resize this. We finally get to use some transfer tape, so I'm just gonna peel off this bad boy and stick it directly on top of our design like so. And now I can use my little spatula and just make sure everything is pressed on. Look at that, all of the words finally transferred off and now we can place this onto our cup. And look at that, we have a custom coffee cup. So she's looking cute, but she's a little bit basic. So I'm gonna go in for very last finishing touches Add on some little cutout flowers and stars using some very bright, vibrant colors just to help jazz up the rest of the cup. And for the grand reveal, here is the super cute ice coffee cup that I will be using pretty much every single day from here on out. I'm gonna have to go ahead and make a few more cups, a few more bags, so I can go ahead and get these holographic tote bags listed on the website. Thank you again so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Y'all know we just love to craft, have fun, use our hands, make magic. And if you guys are interested in making your own at-home Cricut projects, of course you can shop the Cricut Explore 3 and any of the supplies that I used here in this video down below in the description. Happy crafting! A new day calls for a new coffee and a new craft. We're gonna be dyeing some yarn today. Not only do I have a few different orders to work on, but I really wanna like hand dye a brand new colorway, something very colorful, but kind of like fall-ish inspired. And hopefully if I like the color, I can make enough to make like a little cardigan or something out of it crochet hopes and dreams in the future. So let's just get to dyeing. We already have some yarn in the pan, soaking, ready to absorb the dye. Got the colors out. Let us begin crafting.
Now that I have the orders dyed up, I wanna take a little bit of time to dye up that brand new colorway. So we're just gonna start throwing some new colors in the pot. We're gonna get a little bit deeper, a little bit darker, still multicolor. I think rainbow fall or something like that. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out as we go. before we go ahead and close out today's video i wanted to come on camera and show you guys what that brand new colorway is going to look like now as you guys saw in the dye pot this looked so drastically different but by adding in like that last layer of black i think this might be my all-time favorite colorway that i've ever dyed so let's just go ahead and hank up just a few of these yarns because i really want to show you guys what this is going to look like i already have a super grand vision of crocheting a cardigan pattern. I feel like this would be really fun for something kind of oversized. Again, look at how dark and scrumptious these colors are. Right off of the bat, this colorway kind of reminds me of like an oil spill, like when gasoline is sitting on the pavement and then it kind of gives that oil slicky look. So this is what the brand new colorway is looking like. I cannot wait to crochet with this. Right off the bat, I can already tell that I'm probably gonna have to dye up at least two, maybe three more hanks in order to have enough for a cardigan. But again, here is what another hank of the brand new colorway is looking like. So if you guys have any name suggestions for this bad boy, feel free to let me know down below. I already posted this over on my Instagram stories and I thought it'd be really fun to put together a few different fade sets for fall and for winter. One last final look at a brand new colorway. This will be part of the newest yarn drop launch. I'm obsessed, I'm loving it. And as I just previously showed, I spent a little bit of time putting together and making some brand new stitch markers for the website. So I've got a little bit of like a Halloween-y theme going on with some of these. And then of course we had to go back to like the greens, the blues, and the hot pinks. So this is a little sneak peek at what some more limited edition stitch markers are going to look like. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, for watching, for crafting with me. This is exactly what my mental health needed was just like a week straight of crafting, using my hands, making brand new things. I mean, hello. Hello, brand new yarn. These are the things that make my heart happy, make my soul sing. And yeah, if you guys tune in next week around the same time, we're gonna have more crafting videos. So that's all I have for today's video. Stay safe and take care. I love you guys. Bye.